Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to talk about something that I've rarely ever talked about on this channel. And this is a ketogenic diet. And the specific thing that I want to talk about with a ketogenic diet is why so many people that switch to this diet that get amazing weight loss benefits, I want to share with you as to why people time and time again on a ketogenic diet get weight loss benefits. Because a lot of people actually believe that all fat or so much fat in your diet is a really unhealthy thing and that the fat you eat is the fat you wear. And this is something that I used to believe and something that I used to say time and time again. But what a lot of people don't realize is, yes, fat can make you gain excess body fat. But on a ketogenic diet, it doesn't for some reasons that I'll explain in a short while. But most people that are eating a lot of fat in their diet on say a standard American diet are also eating a lot of carbohydrates. And when you eat a lot of fat, what it does is your body breaks it down after you have chewed it and swallowed it. And then once it goes through a digestive process, it goes into your blood. And then what happens is the excess fat coats your cells. And then the carbohydrates, it's also in the food, then goes to break down in the body, go into the cells, and it cannot due to the excess fat coating it, especially when it comes from oil, food sources. So then what happens is your blood sugar levels are high, then insulin is high, and insulin is a fat storage hormone. It stores the energy from food within your body as excess body fat. So this is why a high carbohydrate, high fat, diet is one of the worst diets for people just to have the most optimal body fat and also health holistically as well. So something that I've promoted massively on this channel is a high carbohydrate diet for weight loss, which a lot of people on a high carbohydrate, low fat, low protein diet tend to get amazing weight loss results time and time again. But then there's quite a lot of people that get on this diet and they find that they gain excess body fat on this or they have excess body fat that they've got already and they just cannot lose it on this diet. And this can be due to genetic reasons or due to being deficient in chrome and vanadium which are key for regulating your blood sugar levels and a variety of different reasons as well. So I have personally found from my own research online over the years and learning from specialists on different types of diets such as a ketogenic diet and a high carb diet that yeah these are definitely the best diets that you can have you do or anyone do for that matter of fact to optimize the weight loss benefits that you can get from it so if you're someone that tries out a high carbohydrate diet and it doesn't work it's normally best for people to try a ketogenic diet. And then there's some people that get on a ketogenic diet and it won't work for weight loss. It's about trying out either one, seeing if it works for you. If it doesn't, then switch to the other one and just try it out and see if it will work for you to give you amazing weight loss and benefits. So that's just something that I wanted to talk about before I go into full depth in a brief moment as to why the ketogenic diet works so well for weight loss. So with a ketogenic diet, it's giving you similar hormonal changes as intermittent fasting or extended fasting, which I've talked about multiple times on this channel. So the four hormones that we're gonna talk about are the four reasons as to why a ketogenic diet works very, very well for weight loss. So the first one that we are going to talk about is insulin. So like I said, insulin is a fat storage hormone. And when you're consuming anything such as an abundance of carbohydrates, it raises insulin. So then people can store the food that they're eating as excess body fat. And what I say is this doesn't happen for everyone, but for a lot of people, it does happen. And like I said, a lot of people that eat carbohydrates, also eating all these processed foods also have fat in it as well. So then they're having major issues with what I mentioned early on and then gaining weight from those foods. So when you're on a ketogenic diet, you normally are having a very low amount of carbohydrates. Most people try and have no more than 30 or even 20 grams of carbohydrates a day from their total calorie intake from whatever food sources they're eating. 
but there's quite a few people that will go up to 50 grams if you're on a pure ketogenic diet. But the lower your carb intake is, the lower your insulin levels will be, and the greater benefits you will get from it. So from the research that I've done and learned from certain experts on this subject, you don't want to go past about 50 grams of carbohydrates a day. And this will make sure that your insulin stays super, super low. So then you cannot store the food that you're eating as excess body fat because it's not making insulin go up. So this is one of the main reasons why a ketogenic diet works really well for weight loss, which is what exactly happens when you are doing intermittent fasting or extended water fasting. So you could say in many ways, at least I thought this recently, that a ketogenic is like a fasting mimicking diet where you are mimicking it in a way where you're getting very similar benefits from it. But what I say is you will get more significant weight loss benefits in a shorter period of time if you do an extended water fast. So for example, if you did a 30 day ketogenic diet where you ate that way for around 30 days and then you compared it to someone that did water fasting for 30 days for obvious reasons, you're gonna lose way, way, way more weight, but you're also gonna lose a lot of muscle, which a lot of people will not want to do as well. And uh, extended water fasting is not something that I recommend to most people, it can be dangerous. You do ideally wanna get supervision from an expert on this at some sort of health center or a health retreat place. But we have a ketogenic diet. You can do this for months and months and months or years. So you can get safe, weight loss benefits that are also very rapid as well. Like I said, not as fast as extended water fasting, but still pretty damn rapid. And the second hormone we're gonna talk about is ghrelin, which ghrelin is known as the hunger hormone. And what people find time and time again on a ketogenic diet is their hunger is massively diminished. Because when you are eating an abundance of fat, such as on a ketogenic diet, it is a slower digesting, fuel source that your body takes longer to burn. So you actually stay way more satiated for a lot longer. Unlike a lot of people that eat very high carbohydrate rich meals as soon after they feel hungry, so they have all these snacks in between and they're just thinking about food a lot. And it's just this vicious cycle of just eating here and there and there and there and there and then insulin's going up and down all day long and then ghrelin's going all over the show and all these other hormones that cause weight gain. So, so many people find, once they start eating a ketogenic diet, that their appetite is massively suppressed and they don't need to eat as many calories within one sitting which obviously results in them not eating as many calories and actually staying fully satiated for long periods of time. So they don't feel that they have these intense cravings where they wanna go and binge out on loads of good foods that are just gonna prevent them from getting the weight loss benefits that they want, which you can find on certain extreme calorie restriction diets. But on a ketogenic diet, where you don't necessarily need to do extreme calorie restriction, but you're doing some sort of moderate, healthy calorie restriction, you can actually still get amazing weight loss benefits that you can sustain because you're not getting intense cravings where you wanna go binge out and you're just reversing all of the progress that you've made. And the third hormone is leptin. And what happens is when your body is in a state of ketosis on a ketogenic diet, your body is burning up and using its own body fat as fuel, which actually increases leptin within the body, the production of it more specifically. And leptin is known as the satiety hormone. So what is happening is leptin is high and then you also got ghrelin that is low, which is the hunger hormone. And then because leptin's high, you've got the satiety hormone going on. So those two things combined make you feel fuller for way longer. And this is what people find time and time again on an extended water fast. On the first day of an extended water fast, it can seem hard, but then as you start to push through, your ghrelin levels start to go down more and leptin goes up. So then it becomes easier when you do it for days and days in a row. And I know from my own personal experience from doing extended water fasting for multiple days in a row. But instead of having to do an extended water fast, you can just do a ketogenic diet instead. And what you would normally find is when insulin goes down, also ghrelin will go down and the leptin 
production will go up. So when you are eating external sources of fat from fatty food sources, and then you've got your body breaking down its own body fat and utilizing it, is it going to give you all of those benefits that I have just mentioned for an extended period of time. And then obviously if you're eating a ketogenic diet, you're getting all of those benefits 24 hours around the clock every single day, which is gonna give you the most rapid weight loss benefits that you can possibly get and sustain as well. And if you look in scientific research, they have found with more leaner people such as myself that we have higher levels of leptin production within the body. So by doing a ketogenic diet, you are messing around with leptin and actually getting it to go higher. So if you're someone who's obese, you can induce high leptin production within the body. So you are having the same effects go on as a lean person such as myself that helps me stay lean all year round. So that's obviously a very, very good thing if you want to get the greatest weight loss benefits that you can get from any type of diet. The fourth hormone that we're gonna talk about is cortisol, which the ketogenic diet does have a slight stress response on the body. So does exercise, saunas, intermittent fasting, extended water fasting as well. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, unlike chronic stress where you may be stressed out from your job so much every single day that has negative effect on your immune system and your health holistically and your weight and a whole host of other negative effects come with it as well. But this is a good type of stress, which I learned about certain types of stress is actually good for you from a teacher known as Hori Hofmeckler, which promotes the warrior diet. And what I learned from him is certain stress is actually good on the body because it makes the body adapt and become more resilient and stronger. So it's actually a really, really a good thing for you. But obviously, if you're someone that has adrenal fatigue and the ketogenic diet is making cortisol levels go really, really high where you feel chronically stressed out, then that's not a good thing. But if that's not happening to you and you feel good on a ketogenic diet, yes, you're getting a slight increase in cortisol, but that's not actually a bad thing whatsoever for the reasons that I've just mentioned. And what you'll find is when cortisol production goes up, so does ghrelin. So that is another reason as to why a ketogenic diet makes ghrelin production low and why it suppresses your appetite really well on a ketogenic diet. And the last thing that I wanna talk about is not everyone does this, but there's quite a few people that they find that they can eat way less calories on a ketogenic diet in comparison to any other diet because they stay satiated for way longer. So then in turn, they will be eating a lot less calories, but they actually be feeling good from it. Because a lot of people that just do your standard low carb, say like Dr. Atkins style diet, find that doing extreme calorie restriction just turns it into this yo-yo diet where they're binging because they have loads of hunger and they have to fight off their hunger that is going on for them. And it's just not a very good thing to do. I used to do that years ago and it's just not nice whatsoever. It's really hard to sustain. But you can eliminate that with a ketogenic diet, but have a low amount of calories like you would on a low carbohydrate diet, such as the Atkins diet, whilst actually feeling satiated and feeling good at the same time and not being focused upon food all hours of the day and obsessing over it. So obviously, yes, this is why a ketogenic diet is so good for people for weight loss time and time again. And then, if you're actually combining it with daily intermittent fasting, where you fast for around 16 hours a day and eat for around an eight hour window, you can get even greater benefits for losing weight on a ketogenic diet. And if you're someone that wants to learn how to do intermittent fasting daily for serious weight loss, I have the complete guide video, which I'll put a link for up above, and I talk about all the detailed information that you need to know to actually get intermittent fasting to work the best for you so you can actually sustain it and get the greatest weight loss of benefits from it if that's what you're looking to get from it. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions on anything that I shared with you in this video and if there's anything you'd like to critique on this video, anything you'd like me to make on the future on a ketogenic diet because it's something that has interested me for a long time, 
around seven months to eight months or so because it's become a very popular diet. And I have seen that so many people do get amazing weight loss benefits. And like I said before, I used to be a person that thought the fat you eat is the fat you wear. But for a lot of people, time and time again, I've seen this is not true. And yes, one last thing I wanna add is some people do a ketogenic really unhealthy. They're eating a lot of refined processed meats and also trans fats and other different fats that are not good for you. So when you're doing a ketogenic diet, you wanna do it as healthy as you possibly can and have as much whole foods that are fatty food sources as you possibly can. If you wanna feel the best that you can on this diet and also give your body an abundance of good essential fatty food sources, essential fatty acids, I was gonna say then, I correct myself now, and make sure that you're getting enough omega threes and not too much omega six, otherwise you're gonna cause a lot of inflammation in the body. Make sure that you're hitting all of your macronutrients and your micronutrients, make sure you stay well hydrated then the ketogenic diet could work very well for you. Because there's some people try out, say that it doesn't work, but they necessarily haven't found out how to get it to work for them, or they have certain genetic predisposals that makes it so they cannot thrive on a high fat diet. So that's it. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down, I don't mind. And please share this video with anyone else that you think needs to hear about this important information as to why a ketogenic diet gives people amazing weight loss benefits time and time again. Because maybe they're wanting to lose weight, they've tried many diets, it's not working, but maybe the ketogenic diet would work for them. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And if you subscribe, the type of videos you can expect to get from me on a regular basis are videos on a ketogenic diet, weight loss, intermittent fasting, dry fasting, extended water fasting, calisthenics, calisthenics workout and progression videos and many other different videos to share with you so much valuable effective information that you can put into place in your lifestyle to gain and maintain the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. Like I've managed to and many other people that have followed my information on my YouTube channel consistently to get those results. So if they sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below, there and that you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains.